Today we're making extra thick and chewy bakery style brownies that stay soft for days. This easy recipe transforms a simple boxed brownie mix into delicious treats that you could find at your favorite bakery. So let's get started. First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Line a 9 by 13 cake pan with parchment paper, folding in the corners to ensure it covers the bottom and sides. Using parchment paper prevents the edges from overbrowning and makes it easy to lift the brownies out of the pan for perfect slices. In a large bowl, whisk together the two brownie mixes, instant clear gel, and Dutch dark cocoa powder. These ingredients will help give the brownies that perfect bakery style texture. These brownies stand out because we've upgraded the box mix with a few key ingredients from nuts.com, which are linked in the video description. Their instant clear gel stabilizes the brownies and improves their texture, making them extra soft and chewy for days. The Nuts.com dark chocolate bars and pecans add a wonderful crunch, while their Dutch cocoa powder brings a deep, rich chocolate flavor. In a separate bowl, whisk four large eggs until very smooth, then mix in vegetable oil, water, and vanilla extract. I like to strain this mixture over the dry ingredients to avoid adding any egg particles that can be difficult to fully mix into the batter. Fold the wet and dry ingredients together using large strokes. Be careful not to overmix. Just combine until there are no streaks of dry ingredients left. Chop two dark chocolate bars into chunks and roughly chop some pecan pieces or use pre-chopped pecans. Fold in three quarters of your chopped dark chocolate chunks and chop pecans. These add an incredible crunch and extra chocolatey goodness to every bite. Spread the batter into your prepared cake pan, then sprinkle the remaining chocolate chunks and pecans over the top of the brownies. Bake the brownies in the preheated oven for 20 minutes, then reduce the temperature to 325 degrees for the remainder of baking for about 45 to 50 more minutes. You'll know the brownies are done when a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. Keep an eye out for melted chocolate chunks because they can be deceiving. Once they're done, let the brownies cool completely before cutting and serving. They have the best texture the next day or after cooling at least three hours. So I usually make these the day before serving. Gently lift the cooled brownies out of the pan using the parchment paper, then slice them into generous, irresistible squares. The full recipe and instructions can be found at amycakesbakes.com. I hope you enjoy making and eating these super easy bakery brownies. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more delicious baking ideas and bakery tips. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.